W ostatnich dniach czerwca firma Haitian zorganizowała dni otwarte dla klientów z Europy. Wydarzenie miało miejsce w niewielkiej bawarskiej miejscowości Ebermansdorf, gdzie od 2007 roku mieści się jedna z fabryk w Trskarek chińskiego producenta. Jak podają organizatorzy, dni otwarte przyciągnęły kilkuset zwiedzających z 18 krajów. Była to dobra okazja, aby zwiedzić zakłady oraz zapoznać się z najnowszymi danymi dotyczącymi firmy. A te wydają się optymistyczne. W ubiegłym roku Haitian znacznie zwiększył przychody oraz ilość sprzedanych maszyn. Przedstawiciele firmy podkreślają, że dla chińskich producentów maszyn rynek europejski, a zwłaszcza niemiecki, nie jest łatwy. Dlatego też Haitian nie nastawia się w Europie na szybki sukces, lecz na długotrwałe umacnianie się na rynku. Widocznym znakiem tego umacniania ma być budowa nowych zakładów w Ebermansdorfie, którą ogłosił podczas Dni Otwartych profesor Helmar Franz. Największym zainteresowaniem gości Dni Otwartych cieszyły się oczywiście zaprezentowane maszyny. Jednym z najciekawszych rozwiązań była nagrodzona na tegorocznym plastpolu w tryskarka serii Zeres, ale w Ebermansdorfie Haitian przedstawił swoją kompleksową ofertę maszyn do wtrysku. O prezentowanych wtryskarkach opowiada Lindsay House. This machine that we have at the uh, open house is the new Zerus series machine from Zafia Plastic Machinery, one of our divisions. It is based on the Venus platform and what we have done with this specific machine is introduced an integrated power pack for hydraulic movements for customers that require core or valve gate and also we have made the ejector and the injection unit movement also hydraulic still maintaining high precision fully electric clamp movement and also injection and screw rotation movement so the machine is still fully functional for parallel operations so you can recharge your your barrel material and also open and close the machine at the same time so it's still fully functional exactly the same as the uh, venus machine but it has an integrated power pack solution which is quite a cost effective solution for those customers that run some molds where they have core or they want to have some valve getting where they just need the occasional hydraulic power source on the machine and this is the main innovation on this machine. Everything else is the same, the same drive for the clamping unit, injection unit, same drive motors as with our Venus machine, uh, but only the integration of the uh, hydraulic power system. This machine is also a Xerus machine. It's a 2,300 kilonewton machine, which is the largest machine in this series of machine. And uh, we are just exhibiting that this is the large uh, size machine, so customers can get an appreciation of the size and the actual build of this machine. Uh, the machine that we have on exhibition here at our open day is a fully electric uh, Venus series machine from Zafia Plastic Machinery. And this is one of the, the machine uh, divisions that we have under Haitian International and fully dedicated for the fully electric uh, injection molding machine. This particular machine, uh, which is different in the second generation than the first generation, is that we have made small improvements which have come from customer feedback from using the first generation machine. Small things they would like to change uh, to make the machine a little bit user, more user friendly. Uh, a, main is, uh, a main improvement that we have is all of the electric servo drives on the machine. All the motors are now specifically adapted for our machine, manufactured by one of our chairman's companies, which makes the motors, who also makes the motors for our servo hydraulic machine. So now what we get is motors that are actually dedicated for that specific function on the machine. So whether it's injection screw drive, injection or mold open closing ejected, they're all optimized for that specific function, which gives a much better energy saving or higher energy saving and also a very optimized speed acceleration and deceleration uh, ramping on the machine which is uh, then replicated in your part that's manufactured, so a higher level of part repeatability and also cycle time reduction. The machine in front of us here that we're presenting is the smaller version of our Jupiter 2 Platinum series machine. We introduced this machine last year at the K exhibition uh, from 450 ton, 4,500 kilonewton, 
up to uh, 1,080 tonne, 10,080 kilonewton clamping force. What this does then is also uh, brings to our customers a machine of smaller footprint, but also the advantages of having a two platen machine where you get the possibility for larger mould opening strokes and also uh, an alternative for minimum and maximum mould height and also a larger weight carrying capacity on the moving platen. So for those customers requiring products or moulds running a, a heavier mould, this machine is uh, more suited than the conventional three platen uh, series machine that we have. And it's also energy saving. The machine is servo hydraulic drive, which is standard across all the hydraulic series machines that HITM produces. So it's very energy efficient. And uh, it is also producing at the moment a uh, component part uh, which has uh, parallel functions during the mould opening of core movement. So we have parallel functions for reducing of the cycle time. The machine that we're exhibiting here is the Mars Series 3 Platin machine. It's a mechanical locking type uh, clamping unit, hydraulic drive, uh, but it's an eco version. So it's still the same standard Mars machine that we have, but it's just got a slightly reduced performance uh, for those customers that do not need to have such high performance requirements. So it's a way of being able to economize for those products uh, that do not require a high performance level. Uh, the machine is exactly the same as our standard Mars series machine from clamping unit, tie bars. All we reduce is uh, the control system as one level down, so it's more uh, basic uh, control. And also the, the hydraulic drive system has just been derated a little. But the, the overall machine quality and performance is still, uh, still excellent. We're standing in front of our multi-component machine. This particular machine is three component. It can also be three color depending on the application of the particular part. And for HITN we produce this in machines of three platen version and also two platen version. Also with a rotating table uh, if you should require it for different uh, injection uh, position requirements with rotating the mold. Uh, for HITN we have two in line with the fixed platen and one at the rear and this is what we have on exhibition here. We do not produce a vertical from the top injection unit uh, but for the standard molding application the, uh, the IA series that we have here is, is quite suitable for many different applications from material, colour, it's quite uh, sufficient for doing multiple applications.